Carrot Barfi is an exotic, delicate flavored dessert that's within reach in the village if you have access to carrots, coconuts, and cardamom. Carrots I grow. Coconut, which I've bought shredded and dry. Cardamom, and sugar. The first step is to grate the carrots. If the coconut's not already grated, you have to grate it too. When we have enough grated carrots, it might be good to shred them a little finer than this, but this is as good as I'm going to do it. Then we add the sugar. I'm not going to measure, it's just a by gosh. You want to add sugar to draw out the moisture in the carrots. So we'll mix the sugar in the carrots. Slightly less volume of sugar than we have carrots, quite a bit. And we'll let that stand for a few minutes to draw out the moisture. Then we'll add the rest of the ingredients and begin to cook. Now it's become quite juicy. Add the coconut, about an equal volume as we had carrots. Add a lot of ground cardamom. So we have a low fire. This might be a little too low, it's just coals. But we don't want it to be very hot because we're going to cook this completely down. You don't have to use a heavy pot like I have, but it helps. And you just want to cook, cook, cook with stirring until it's pretty much dry, as dry as it gets, and then you press it down into the pan. I'm afraid it'll be too dark by the time I'm finished to get a good picture of that, so I'm just describing it to you. It's been cooking for some minutes now. Now it's cooking down. The sizzling is almost finished. So it's critical to keep stirring to make sure the carrots are completely cooked and that it doesn't burn. Now it's getting very thick in consistency. The sizzling sound is almost gone. It's starting to smell like cooked carrots, in addition to be, being very sweet smelling, very, very cardamom fragrant. It's starting to change color a little somewhat hard to tell because I've had to change the lights. The sun is going down, so I'm using artificial lights now. But it's not so orange, now it's becoming more brown, which indicates that we're getting very close to finishing uh, the carrots and the sugar is caramelizing. I'm going to say this is done enough, or at least that the residual heat in the pan is enough to finish it, because I don't want to completely burn things. And I still want this to be able to stick together. Now I'll press it into the pan. And remove it from the heat. Continue to press it down. When it gets a little cooler, it should still be soft. Then I can cut it into pieces. It's cooled a little bit but it's still warm and still soft. So I'll cut it into squares. If it's don't have enough oil, or if you let it cool too much, it might become brittle and the squares won't be nice, which I think is happening here. But it tastes just the same. It's 
starting to fall apart. But like I said, it'll still taste good.